Suzanne's first step is to set up an investment account. Under Investment and Retirement Accounts, click Add Account. The account is held with a brokerage firm, Charles Schwab. Be sure the radio button next to the account is held at the following institution is selected and type C in the box below. From the drop-down list that appears, select Charles Schwab and click Next. It appears we need more information. Click the drop-down menu and select Charles Schwab & Co. Inc. and click OK. Many brokerages can now be set up online for the convenience of their customers. If we had an existing account with Charles Schwab, we could click the first choice to let Quicken set up our account with them. It would require us to have a username and PIN or password, much like we had with our online checking account. However, since we are not working with a real account, click No, I do not want to connect to Charles Schwab. Notice we can always change this to an online account later. Click Next. Leave the default answer at Standard Brokerage and click Next. We'll name this account Suzanne's Investments. After entering this name, click Next. We are now asked for information from our most current brokerage statement. Let's use the first of the current month as the statement date. Type the date or use the calendar to select that date. Enter a cash balance of $3,000. We'll leave the money market fund empty. Click Next. Suzanne owns 20 shares of Intuit Incorporated, so let's enter that now. Tab past the ticker box and type Intuit in the security name column. Although we don't need a ticker symbol in a manual account, it is required if we want to download information in the future or add it to our watch list. Quicken makes it easy to add a ticker symbol from this screen as long as we are online. Viewers, if you are not online yet, sign on to your internet now so we can see how this works. Click Ticker Symbol Lookup. Quicken takes us to a website where we can enter the stock name to get the symbol. In the lookup box, make sure the stock button is selected. Type into it in the second field and click search. The first match is the Intuit Incorporated. This is the one we want. Close the ticker search screen and type INTU in the ticker box. Click Next. Viewers, we will be using several online tools to download information, so stay online throughout this lesson. Suzanne owns 20 shares of this stock, so in the Quicken Accounts Setup window, enter 20 and make sure the Stock Radio button is clicked. Click Next. Here's a summary of the Intuit stock in Suzanne's account. Click Done to complete the process.